Well, a pro-Trump activist is leading the charge in organizing a massive Baltimore trash cleanup effort set for next week. One America, Chanel Rion has that story from Washington. Following a week-long row about Democrats and their failed leadership in cities like Baltimore, what started as a one-man mission to make Baltimore clean again has become an organic volunteer army. Get out the vote and pro-Trump activist Scott Presler told One America News about his latest call to arms, or shall we say, call to clean. I was just fed up. I was seeing everybody complaining and nobody doing. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually do something, go to Baltimore, even if it's just me standing on a street corner alone picking up trash, I'm gonna go to Baltimore and help. Pressler sent out a tweet announcing he was tired of the social media outrage for Baltimore and would go to Baltimore on August 5 and clean it up himself. Pressler's Twitter feed blew up with responses. Here's the coolest part. It's not just Maryland that's stepping up to the plate. This this is nationwide. We have people that are coming from Tennessee, Texas, Connecticut, Delaware, D.C., Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania. This is, I want people to know this is love. This is an outpouring of love that we're seeing for Baltimore. As Baltimore continues to be the crux by which Democrats accuse President Trump of racism, and President Trump continues to spotlight Democrats for allowing their districts to rot and languish, Pressler says it's disheartening to see reality simply ignored by the left's hatred for President Trump. We have to be pragmatic and we have to be realistic. America, while we are the freest, greatest country on earth, we have problems, we do. And I appreciate President Trump drawing attention to Baltimore. We can't just not address the problems affecting this epidemic in our culture. While activists like Pressler take immediate action, Project 21's Marie Fisher told One American News longer term actions to help Baltimore should should include deregulation and charter school options for black students in particular. But Fisher also notes broader issues like ingrained socialist policies are at play. A lot of the inner cities are many Venezuelas. People keep pointing out that, oh, our country's going to be like Venezuela if we go towards socialism. We already have cities that are there. Hopefully, with President Trump and the tweeting, he's pointing out, look, you know, socialism is here and look at the results. Don't look to other countries, just look in our own backyards. Project 21's 10-point plan to tackle the crisis of inner cities include promoting school choice and faith-based communities, improving police relations, stemming lost jobs taken from the black community by non-citizens, and shutting down excessive regulation. Fisher also calls on funding cuts. Just cut off funding for any agency, any funding. It's like we're spending money on people who are not citizens. Instead of taking that money and spending it, spend it on Baltimore, spend it on Memphis, spend it on Chicago, spend it on the citizens, spend it on black Americans, and in turn you're spending on American citizens. Fisher says Baltimore needs an audit. In the meantime, she will be joining Scott Pressler on his Clean Up Baltimore mission. Pressler says August 5 will not only be a positive response to an otherwise negative controversy, but hopes it will also spark solutions. Some people have been voting Democrat for 50 years, and what do you have to show for it? I'm not doing this just to have people vote for Trump. I'm not doing this just to have people vote Republican. If I truly am a conservative activist that cares about my country, then I'm going to do this because it's the right thing. And I think it's about time that people speak with their actions, not just their words. This is Americans helping Americans. Scott Pressler, August 5, you're going to Baltimore. People can go to scottpressler.org to now. sign up and volunteer. And uh, we wish you the best of luck, safety, and uh, success on the 5th. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for being here. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.